this in here, I will put it in the sun for a week. All day in the sun for a week and let it continue to do its thing. And you wouldn't believe I could let that sun make such a great difference. I am not even joking. You have that nice curry flavor. to a curry infused oil and to do that I am not going to use curry powder of course we're not so I bought a curry blend but in its natural form without it not being in its powder form right so I would leave all what this has in it but clearly you can see peppercorn Oops, you can see most, you can make out most of the ingredients in here. So I am not going to even, um, I am not even going to crush it or anything. I am just going to let that burn in the oil. And it all depends on how strong you want it, right? So to one cup of oil, I'm going to use two tablespoons. You could use less, you could use more, and I'm using two, two cups of oil, and so therefore I'll be using four tablespoon of, of this. And yes, in case you're wondering, yes, I chop it off. So I gave it a wash. And I put some leave-in condition in it. Uh, my problem is now styling this. Like, this is what I always dislike about cutting my hair. There is so much you can do, you know. And I with this long face and have this here in my head, it's kind of frustrating. How much styles you could get away with with this long face that I have. So, a little bit of strainer. So I use the oil. You don't want to use an oil that is full of flavor. You want to use a plain oil. I will also leave the best oil to use on your screen as we go along. I am using two cups of sunflower. So you can use the best types of oil to use would be extra virgin olive oil or grape seed. You could even use walnut. Actually, I've used walnut once or twice to do this and you also get a good job. And to my preheating pot, I'm going to place the seeds in. Okay, Google, set one minute alarm. 4.51 p.m. Set. After patching all of the seeds, you'll want to add your oil. As I said, I'm adding two cups of oil and I am going to put this on a medium high heat and let that simmer until it get lightly darkened. You don't want to burn them. So this is some fish I'm going to go along with this recipe. And this is how thick I'm going to cut some carrots. And for the pineapple, I'm going to go a little higher. But for the rest, I, I want to cut them as thin as possible. So as I said, I'm going to use some of the oil to drizzle on this after and also to, to burn some garlic. So we're going to add the two toughest first and then we're going to start to build up and each time when I add in anything I am going to cook them for one minute intervals. I am cooking them for so my salt fish was pre-cooked so I'm now going to add it to everything that was being cooked and then give everything a toss and add some black pepper you could add salt i didn't cook this with any salt because the salt fish has a lot of salt and i don't boil out the salt from the salt fish and then i am going to add some of that very said oil once it is cool 
or you could use it hot onto this. I'm having this with some good old Dixie. <laughs> Alrighty then. So now once it has cooked and you get a nice lightly dark color, I'm going to set it aside to cool down. And once it's cooled down, I am now going to add it to my fish. I will leave a list of the vegetables in the comments. Alright. So we finished with this whole fish and I'm going to have that with some crackers and we use the oil that we just made to put on top of the fish when it was finished. So now I'm going to place the oil because it's totally cool into a jar. So you're probably thinking about why she would use a small mason jar or something, why is she using this big container? one reason so that once it's finished i can clean the container properly i can put my hand in there and clean the container properly when i am done that is the only reason no more no other reason but that so and once this is finished once i place this in here i will put it in the sun for a week all day in the sun for a week and let it continue to do its thing and you wouldn't believe like putting it in that sun makes such a great difference i am not even joking you have that nice curry flavor because this is all the ingredients that you would use to combine to bring to get a nice color in your curry powder and your flavor in your curry powder but just that this is in its natural form it isn't grind in any way it's not in the powder form and so therefore you have a curried flavor infused oil simple and healthy what i'm going to use this to do is for mostly salads and like how i made this fish we would normally call this fish a buljol in the caribbean so um but typically it's not done with um zucchini and pineapple but all the other ingredients i was putting it would normally be in it and you wouldn't normally fry the stir fry the vegetables what you would do is eat everything raw but the only thing would be cooked would be the salt fish salted cod as some may know it you want to boil that first and clean it and then add it with your oil and stuff and we use this oil to add on all right so i do hope you enjoy watching this two-in-one video how i made my curry flavored infused oil and my fish buljol so fish buljol with a twist thanks for watching another episode of kenya's corner stay blessed stay safe thanks for watching bye